In 1947, Tariq's family moved to Karachi. Tariq was born in November 1949. The early years were spent in luxury, but trauma, which he says is his middle name, struck him at the age of three. The next ten years would be tough on young Tariq. Forty-seven के बाद जो है वो एक लंबी एपिक है ट्रेजिडी शेक्सपीरियन ट्रेजिडी नेवर एंडिंग राम के दो बेटे थे लव और कुश राम के बेटे लव के शहर में एक हिंदू नहीं छोड़ा लाहौर कैसे चला गया हिंदुस्तान के हाथ से जो सिविलाइजेशन सिटी है लेकिन राम को रख लिया उसके बेटे को भूल गए आप लोग तो मैं क्या करूं उसमें फिर जब ना इस पार ना उस पार जाहिलों का समंदर है जो उर्दू में शेर बोलते वही राजा आपका बिहार यूपी ये सारा इलाका उनने कहा भाई यहाँ तो नवाब सिराज दौला रहते हैं और यहाँ फलाने रहते हैं यहाँ और जिसको फारसी नहीं आई बोले कितों ले आके आ गए आज आपको वही चीज पाकिस्तान में मिलती है कि पाकिस्तान का पंजाबी 150 मिलियन ऑफ देम डू नॉट स्पीक पंजाबी एट होम विद चिल्ड्रेन They only speak Punjabi when they are drunk. तो क्या बात? फिर किस language में बात? अपने आप से शर्मिंदा है। तो क्या हिंदी? उर्दू बोलते हैं। उर्दू बोलते हैं। Hey, हाँ, चांद चेहरा सुने रहे हैं, आंखें इस टाइप की कोई bullshit कर दें आप? दूसरा आदमी कहता है बहुत पढ़ा लिखा। Instilling these values in you. Was it your father? Was it your mother? No, my my, my father. Or were you following your parents the way they were? Uh, not really. I I I was a, a bit religious, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, a bit cut off from religion as well because uh, in sixty two and see nineteen sixty three, I distinctly remember. How old were you? I would be twelve, thirteen. Okay. So I remember that the the first time hmm. where mullahs disrupted our Eid hmm. by saying "Chan ni nikla," oh. and some people saying "Chan nikla," oh. and that was the first realization that this clergy is against joy. Yeah, this is so true. That is Let's that say. is what irks them. It's happiness that makes them miserable. Correct. That is why they're against gay marriage. That is why. They get very offended if. Uh, is it too rigid, maybe? No, no, it's not rigid. It's so not when... rigid. It is. It's an aversion to happiness. It's uh, f from a Muslim perspective. So I don't know it, the Hindu perspective. Is it when you sacrifice, you get? It's your way it's to God. Is that the way? No, really, no, really? no, no. So you're not supposed to be happy because you're okay, always on nobody, a sacrificing zone, right? No. Here no. it is. Okay. Nobody ever gave the daughter in the hand of marriage to a mullah. Mm. Ever, nobody says, "Oh my God, we have a proposal for my sister, and he's a mullah." Mm. So, the architects of our faith, Islam, are usually quite ugly. Mm. They have a beard with no moustache. Yeah. You must have seen yeah, them in that, India. Well, of course, uh, I have. All the yeah. uh, any time you see a happy Muslim, he will be secular. Masla mm. ye hai. आपने कहा रिलीजन का कि मैं आई आई बिकेम रिलीजियस एट अबाउट ट्वेल्व थर्टीन इन अ वे दैट आई वुड गो टू द मास्क आई आई सो मोर ऑफ बींग मुस्लिम एज सॉर्ट ऑफ एन आइडेंटिटी आई डिट नो हु वी वर वी लिव्ड इन कराची वी न्यू वी वर पंजाबीज बट अब मदर वुड स्पीक टू अस इन पंजाबी वी डेयर नॉट रिस्पॉन्ड टू हर She never spoke to me in Urdu. Okay. I never spoke to her in Punjabi. This is the hierarchy of languages. <laughs> okay. At the top is Arabic. Mm. Then there is Persian. Mm. Then there is Turkish. Mm. Then there is Urdu. And then under it is all the Kachra. So tell me about your dad. Oh, zabardast aadmi kya? Hmm. Actor, singer, sketch artist, mm. handsome, tall, uh, five feet ten. अजंता केव्स के बारे में पूछना हो श्रीलंका के बारे में सेकंड वर्ल्ड वॉर इनकी किताबें मेरे पास अब भी हैं वो शॉर्ट हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया सवारकर की 1857 वॉर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस उन्हीं की है 
Okay. That's the first book I read. He wow. gave it to me. 1857, First Indian War of Independence. Okay. <clears throat> did he support you in what you were doing? In every respect. He did. He did. In okay. every respect. So that's good. And he would always take pride in introducing me to anyone. Uh, to anyone. Well, my mum somehow felt that uh, I was a liability. Hmm. There are experiences with certain people that you feel that they bring a lot of negative value to her life, but they also have something positive which we subconsciously carry it in our personality, especially up from our parents. I don't know. I think my uncles had a bigger uh, effect on my life. My okay. father's brother, so his cousins, my mum's brother and mm. his co and her cousins. They were more influential. They were far more influential and they uh, uh, respected me as even as a child. For who you are. For who I was and what I thought. Mm. Uh, I remember that very early when I was not even ten, not even ten, I could do cricket commentary for hours at a lot. Imaginary, keep the scoreboard. Remember, wow. gone LBW, kiska score kya hai? Sab. Just and it in you. And, and hmm. everyone would be in awe except my mother who would slap me. Bakwas karo. Bakwas karo, table jaki karo. Tera ka hai? She was living from her place of fear as well, right? She was living. You need to empathize with her as well. Of course I do, but yeah. I can't. You don't expect me to relish no, pain. No, not huh. at the age of 10. So, why are these all your experiences? The? Uspe, I know that your mommy's experiences were, which she has carved you. You know, Benz. <laughs> I guess you, 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 you. But ठीक है, उसपे भी कुछ जो भी हुआ है, आपकी एक personality बनी है. You knew what not to do, right? Mm -hmm. Out of whatever experiences you had right. with your mom. But आपके पापा. Actually, papa, I would do everything that she would say not to do. Again? Yes. Maybe to your kids? No, I did it right then. Then. So she would say not to go to the cinema. Because you would want her attention, I guess. No, no, no. Yes, then why would you do it? But defines martial law against her. क्या वो आयुब खान का हो या जमीला का हो? But tell me one thing. Out of all these experiences that you had, did you have like a mentor that you were trying to follow, or was it this was all out of your own discovery and your own experiences, and this is what was driving you from inside? There were there were a couple of people. There is a person who's now deceased, Amir Heather Kazmi, who was a, a, and later became the health minister in Benazir Bhutto's hmm. government. He he nurtured me. There is a physician in the United States called Dr. Jasim Pasha. Hmm. To some degree, him, but mostly, it was the two, three friends that I had in a close circle, mm. and one of them, Absar Nakvi, is my brother-in-law now. Okay. Uh, we spent literally every day together. Two, three. I'm sorry. Yeah, busy. I, 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 I,
a silliness even yes. when because we were very juniors. Uh, another one of them was Mahbub mm. Alam Shah, who by the way ended up as the number two in IB. Wow. Usi ne 2006 mein mujhe kaha tu nikal jaye isse pehle ke maar de ke tere ko. I had gone to Karachi uh, last time I went okay. to the, attend the World Social Forum there, mm-hmm. and uh, I was tipped off to get out. Yeah, there were uh, others. There was a gentleman called Hadi Nakvi. He was mm. from Bihar, mm. and uh, he was a blonde man from Bihar, which is very <laughs> strange. I still remember Hadi Nakvi, tall fellow. Mm. He was also a socialist, and he would, uh, uh, you know, be there for me. Mm. Uh, and uh, people didn't give up on me some because one day i remember i was speaking at an intersection hmm. i was at a telephone uh, at a uh, signal okay. intersection and okay. i was speaking to a huge crowd and i see my mother coming straight towards me catching me from my ears and dragging me out it was a huge humiliation yeah. for me as a 17 18 year old people are laughing at me and uh six seven hours later i was back at that place talking <clears throat> again uh, no to meet uh, this same mr kazmi at his office he had a business in woodwork and he said we had given up on you we thought that today you're dead mm. anyway ek scholarship mil gayi mm. metric pass karne pe 25 rupaye mahina ki us zamane se dhanda shuru hua siyasat ka और फिर निकला एक पचास रुपये का प्राइस बॉन्ड मुझे तो हमें दो दोस्त बैठे थे भाई इसका क्या करेंगे मनी में बट इस काम ने क्या किया बोले क्या करें बोले इलेक्शन लड़ लेते हैं आई एम नॉट किडे कॉलेज का इलेक्शन लड़ लिया जनरल सेक्रेटरी का दादा की लोग सारे घूम रहे इधर उधर नीचे और तुम कौन है हम कौन है They were all these tough guys. मैं नाइन एट्टी फाइव पाउंड का बाइसिकल पर आता चश्मे लगाए हुए मुझे स्कूल में बेबी आउल कहा करते थे तो मैं वोट फॉर तारीख पता अच्छा सारा पैसा तो खर्च करेगा कॉलेज में अलाउड नहीं था साइन वाइन लगाने का हमने देखा कि जो बाहर के स्टूडेंट हैं उनके खत आते हैं तो नोटिस बोर्ड पर लग जाते हैं वो फिर जाते हैं अपना कहते हैं सर हमारा खत लगा हुआ हमने एक पोस्ट कार्ड दिया बहुत बड़ा कि एड्रेस की जगह तो नाम अपना वो जो दूसरी साइड होती है उस पर लिखा वोट फॉर तारीख फता वो वो पोस्ट किया वो डिब्बे में लग गया अब हम देने नहीं जाए अब वहाँ लगा हुआ लगा हुआ किसी को साथ जो सुबह सौ आदमी आए पड़े वोट फॉर तारीख फता भाई हमको उस वक्त भी समझ में आ गया था कि सटल प्रोपोगेंडा कैसे होता है हाउ डू हाउ डू आपने ब्लैक मार्कर में लिखा है वोट फॉर तारीख पता बाकी सारे पेन से लिख के कौन पड़ेगा वो अच्छा ग्रेट वे ऑफ अट्रैक्टिंग अरे भैया लक्ष्य जीत गया वो वाइस प्रिंसिपल ने बुलाया प्रोफेसर मुस्तार थे फिजिक्स के ये क्या लगा हुआ मैंने कहा सर किसी ने भेजा मैं क्या करूँ ना पता ऑफ कोर्स हंस उसने कहा आप इसको निकाले मैंने कहा सर लगे रहने दे मैं कहा मैं रखूंगा पोस्ट कार्ड टूट जाएगा वो बोला तुमने खुद भेजा अपने आप को मैंने नहीं सर दा की कसम नहीं भेजी एनी वे मतलब इस टाइप करके आई न्यू वॉट वॉज गुरीला वॉर आई रियलाइज कि कुछ लोग पैसे से जीतते आपके पास पैसा नहीं है आपको एक आने में जीतना पड़ेगा hmm. हम जीतते गए पर एम क्या था आपका क्यों एम ये था कि स्कूल में दस साल तक सम hmm. Asshole who was the school monitor hmm. would always write down my name on the board, talking in class. Go college, आगे पता चला कि अरे इधर तो monitor जो है वो elect होता है हमने कहे elect होता है इसका मतलब हम college के monitor. So I ran uh, in the first year I ran I lost as class representative, hmm. but in '66 then I ran for general secretary. Hmm. और ये पचास dollar का bond निकला hmm. और हमने क्या किया? Party. पार्टी पागल अगर पार्टी हमारा जो अपोनेंट था उसने बोला कैंटीन खुली है सबके लिए पार्टी हुई ना कैंटीन उसकी ही थी हमने कहा हम भी खाए वहीं जाएंगे <laughs> तो वो खड़ा था क्या और उसका नाम था फिरोज मिलवाला वो गुजराती स्पीकिंग उसने कहा अरे हमारा लोग सारा इधर खाना खाएगा आप लोग टिकट देगा हमने कहा इसका लोग हम भी इसी का लोग है हमारे सारे वर्कर फ्री में उसके नाम पर खाना मैंने कहा इसमें इज्जत इज्जत कुछ नहीं होती है वी आर डट पुअर